Hello students, today I'm going to show you how to do the comparing fossils and modern organisms activity. The goal of this activity is for you to look at a fossil and compare it to two living organisms. So let's get started. As you can see, I've brought up the document and I've brought up the website. I need them side by side in order to work through this. If you don't have a split screen, then you can take a look at the document, maybe jot down what you're supposed to do, and then go through the website, write your answers on a piece of paper and load them later. So the first question is, what is the name of the fossil? So as you can see here, it says get started. And the name of this fossil is Canis durus. So I'm going to type that in over here on my document. It then asks me to give a brief description of the fossil. So I look at the fossil, and I notice that it's got some sharp teeth. got four legs, it has long legs, it has a tail, and it looks like it has toes. On the website, it asked me to select some traits from this list that the fossil has. Well, it's got four legs, it's got pointed teeth, no horns, and obviously no fur because it's a fossil, and I don't see any fur on it. So over here on my document, I'm going to write down the traits that I selected. Okay. So now I'm going to submit on the website. It tells me I was wonderful. And now I'm going to look at the fossil and compare it to the Cape Buffalo and the Arctic Fox. So let's start with the Cape Buffalo. The Cape Buffalo has four legs. It does not have pointed teeth that I can tell. It has horns, and it has dark brown fur. So over here on my activity sheet, I'm going to write Cape Buffalo. And on the next table, I'm going to write down the traits that the Cape Buffalo has in common with Canis durus, which in this case is four legs. The next animal is the Arctic Fox. So I type that in my box here. That's going to become my B organism. And now let's take a look at what the Arctic Fox has. It has sharp teeth. It has four legs. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are ears, not horns. And it has dark brown fur. So down here, I'm going to type in the things that it has in common with Canis durus. Canis durus had four legs. Canis durus had pointed teeth. The Arctic fox has four legs. And the Arctic fox has pointed teeth. So now I have to decide which one do I think is most related to Canis durus. Is it the Cape Buffalo or is it the Arctic Fox? Since they have two in common, I'm going to choose the Arctic Fox. And as you can see, I'm wonderful. So in the box here, now that I've completed that, I type Arctic Fox. And for the most part, that completes that activity. If I get it wrong, I'm going to explain why here, down at the bottom. Good luck, and enjoy the activity. 